In this video, we're going to learn about a sensor that's pretty important to the FTC competition, and that's the IR sensor. So if you go to hightechnic.com, you can find out some information about it, and most importantly, the values it returns. Small numbers are to the left, five is in the front, and larger numbers are to the right of the sensor. Let's write a program that's going to help us see these values being returned. So we need to go to motors and sensor setup and we're going to use the IR sensor. I have it plugged into port 1 and I need to find it from the pull down menu. There's two choices, 600 and 1200. I'm using an IR beacon which transmit at 1200 hertz so I need to choose the 1200 option. Now I'm not going to check just once, I'm going to check over and over, so I'm going to need a loop, and I don't know how many times I'm going to check. Actually, I'm going to just keep on checking, so I'm going to give the while loop the value true, so it's going to keep doing the work I tell it forever, because the test is always true. Inside the while loop, I'm going to use a display command to display the value of the sensor to the NXT screen. The first input that this display function needs is the line number and I'm gonna put in zero, I'll just have it print at the top of the NXT screen. The next input is a string. It wants a list of characters to print to the screen. And strings always are having quotes around them. The only problem is I don't know what value it's going to return. So I'm going to type in percent %d and that'll be a placeholder for a number. And the program will print the number that I put after the string. Alright, so my string is going to be dir, which stands for direction, and then percent %d is the spot where it's going to put the number. And the number that I want to put in that spot will be right after it and that's going to be the sensor value number that's returned from the IR sensor. And that's it. We have a loop that's going to keep printing over and over the value of the IR sensor to the NXT screen. So let's test it out. I have my IR beacon transmitting and on the left of the sensor it has numbers less than five when it's directly in front of the sensor it's a 5 and to the right or on the right side of the sensor it has numbers that are larger than 5. 